morning. morning. Talk about hot car temperature deaths, not the way to start the morning, but it is a sad, heart, heart wrenching thing. But we do need to make people more aware of what's going on and who's going to use mathematics to do that. So I was in um, Scottsdale, Arizona this uh, last month, or in June rather. Temperature outside was 105 degrees. I put a temperature probe inside a car. I collected data for 30 minutes. Uh, beginning temperature was 97 half degrees. What do you think it was after 30 minutes? 130. Have a look. 130. This is the graph at 0, 97. After five minutes, 165. Oh. 10 minutes was 186, and 20 minutes was 191. So what kind of curve would model this data? That's where the mathematics comes in. Try to court it, which was surprising. Worked pretty well until it kind of fell off after the data. Uh, but I also wanted to find out percentage error, how good was it? And it turned out that the average for each of the data points was about 0.33%, not 33%, but 0.33%. So just it looked pretty good as well. Uh, it doesn't fall off of the thing there. And I also evaluated at each data point, found the percentage error at each data point, and the average turned out to be almost 0.2%. Okay, so mathematics, good awareness. Opioids, I contacted the CDC at 12.02 on, on a Monday. 60 minutes later, they gave me all this information. Okay, uh, the graphs, the data. And so I wanted to go ahead and uh, model that with my students. So put it in the calculator. First, we tried a linear, it wasn't too bad. Uh, then a quadratic, surprisingly, it was a little bit better. But never expected the cubic to do so well uh, until I looked at the quartic, which was really good. But now I'd like you to think about outside the box, uh, how else can we model the data? And one student came up with, how about a linear for part of it and quadratic for the end? So we tried that and put it into a, um, a piecewise function, and there we go. Think of all the mathematics behind it. To analyze it, I created this table so we could look at how good the percentage errors were for all the different ones, how good a predictor this was, and students working in groups came up with all this and decided what they thought was the best and so on and had to support their reason with their with, um, uh, words. New data for 2016, unfortunately 42,250 people died, which is 9,000 more than the previous year. So which was more valuable? Yes. Straws used in the United States every day, have any idea how many you used? This came from an article in the Parade Magazine, which is a Sunday supplement on Earth Day, and it just intrigued me, so I wanted to research it and come up with an activity for it. Ready for your number? Are you ready? That's not factorial, by the way. <laughs> but it's still pretty big. And so notice those beautiful straws, look what they look like on a beach. So the number of the top 10 items that you clean up at a beach. So uh, decided to go ahead and to provide social awareness, came up with some questions like if you had these uh, straws back to back for one day, how far would they go around the equator? Mm. Okay. Uh, and then also, uh, if you could take those straws and melt them down into a big plastic cube, what would be the dimensions of the cube? How far could it go back and forth to the moon? Things like that. So um, when we do that, we, we don't give the students the information they need to ask for it. So in the process of doing that, what are they already doing? They're already starting to solve it, more like a real world situation. So here's the uh, answer, two and a half times around the Earth goes back and forth to the 93 and a half times, and that cube would be about 24 feet on an edge. Gerrymandering, I thought was very interesting. Uh, it's a process of drawing district lines that benefits one party over another. Both parties do it, not siding with either one. This is absurd to me. This is a district in, outside Chicago. In Wisconsin, they have about the same number of voters, about the same number of seats, but in 2010, Republicans took over the state house and redrew them so that Democrats had more than more people, but 21 fewer seats throughout the state. Gerrymandering. Here in Pennsylvania, 44% vote Democratic, but uh, because of the way the districts are uh, drawn, only five out of 18 are represented by Democrats. The rest are by Republicans. Again, both sides do it. You should just kind of be aware. And finally, pay, pay lending companies see these all the time. I was just wondering what, what the deal was there. So if you borrow $200 for two weeks, how much do you pay back uh, then? And what's the annual rate of interest? Are you ready? No. I guess that's not ready. So wow. these students need to, to calculate that over 400%. And if you don't believe me, this is a screenshot right off of the computer. Oh, yeah. 
So again, here I like being able to use mathematical modeling to create social awareness. Good mathematics is to get into social 